Uh, we moved down river a little bit to get a little later in the day too. It's now seven o'clock. We've been out about an hour. Uh, I'm back. Uh, let's show what we're fishing here. Uh, same same concept. Uh, I'm in here at this current scene. Uh, got my boat sitting in 12 feet. Uh, to our right, right here, it uh, uh, goes up to three feet. Uh, the current seam is going to be right through here. Uh, well, you can see it right there. It's uh, a rod's length uh, to my right. That's where it gets water gets slacked up. Water to my left coming on. Current's coming pretty good. It's coming right out of an inside bend. What I mean by inside bend, the river comes up that way and bends back around the inside being right here so this current seam uh, is a little bit larger than say uh, it would be if it were just a, just a straight run with a current. And we're going to do the same thing, we're going to fish the same way. Uh, you know we got some, uh, got the fish to bite in the grass. I'm throwing this top water up in a flat. Uh, just checking it out before we go up in there. Uh, if uh, you know if this were a tournament, uh, you know derby, I probably wouldn't do this. I'd just probably just barrel it up in there and flip the grass. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to trying to get a gauge for uh, the fish. So I don't want to troll right over the top of a bunch of fish. And, uh, and that up there on that other grass point was been a, it was a, just a fluke. I got a sinking feeling we're going to get bit up here in this grass. So, uh, like I say, I'm just basically checking for active fish on the surface that we would have uh, bumped up in the, uh, would have just trolled up in there. Yeah, you, sh you get a guy with a Good positive mental attitude. He's a tough guy to tough guy to whip. Be right in here. That fish I put in the boat while ago was a little bitty fish. And that's one thing me and Marty, my brother, talk about a lot. Of, you know, you can't really pick the size of your bites. I mean, you just, uh, you know, the object of this thing is to get bites. And, uh, you know, now, can you? Can you manipulate baits and throw baits that get big bites? Certainly you can. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, you know, you got to get them to bite first. First and foremost, get something in there that you can get a bite. With. And uh, like I said you can't control the size of your bites. And there's got to be one in here. It's got to. Looks too good. Fits uh, fits everything with, with that last patch fit. God Almighty! 
Yeah, here it was. Mm mm mm. Come on, Butch. You gotta have that fish. It's a good fish. Never turn him out of that grass. What happened there was uh, saw some grass moving back up back in there and uh, what I should have done was come in here and reposition the boat. Instead I was reached out over a log but my line was laying across the log and I thought this eight foot pole wouldn't make any difference. Uh, I ain't fish clean at all today. Getting all this out of my system for tomorrow, maybe. You gotta catch that fish right there when it's derby day. Just gotta catch it. Bottom line. Mm -mm -mm. Well, at least we know we're we got fish pattern. So, you know, maybe it didn't sore him up too bad. Maybe I can come back in here and pick him off tomorrow. That's the key to any of these tournaments. And I think if you watch uh, the guys that do this for a living, uh, you, they've, you've got to fish clean. I mean, there's no two ways about it. What I mean clean is you got to put 100, you need to put 100% of your bites in the boat. I mean, you just, you've got to. But that fish bit that, he was aimed that way. I set the hook, so I was pulling against the log and the fish, I mean, I saw him, the fish was long ways against me. And, uh, again, that was just laziness out of me. What I should have done when I saw that grass move was slid my boat back up in there. Got a good angle on it, got a little closer. And I know, you know, to me, for me, I mean, I've, I've, got, a, I've got a decent pattern going on. Uh, it was probably a bass in there, and he was a good fish. When I say he was a good fish, I mean he was a good solid tournament Neely fish. Uh, I'm chasing shad everywhere right now. 